Hey guys, it's Maxine. Welcome to another video. So I just wanted to quickly take you through what we're gonna make for dinner. Rice. Today for dinner, we're having Spanish rice. This is just like our version of rice that we came up with. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna make it quick. And I wanted to show you kind of like the ingredients that we use and how we do it. Just like an easy vegan meal that you can do any night. And uh, yeah, this is good to have whatever. You could bring it to work with you for lunch. It's nice to like change it up from like the regular white rice and stuff. It just gives it more flavor. And it's just a good idea to have for dinner, yeah. All right, I'm gonna take you through the ingredients you'll need to make this meal. <laughs> so you'll need white rice. We like Carolina rice. And then the rest of the ingredients, we have tomato sauce. We're using Hunt's tomato paste, Hunt's brand. We have Goya lentils. These are nice and easy because they're already soaked. So you just rinse them good and dump them. Peas and carrots. Don't forget about Sazon. The classic Spanish flavor. The, the cut green beans. We like the frozen ones. No, we got like some canned ones too. Well, we, well frozen fresh, is good because they're easy. fresh, flash, frozen. Yeah, you can you obviously like they're ready anytime you need them because they're in your freezer. Say that three times fast. Say it. Fresh, flash, frozen. <laughs> Say it faster. Fresh, flash, frozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so we just wanted to show you like a quick and easy vegan. I just hit her in the face. And this, the great thing too, idea. this is high carb, low fat, yeah. all the ingredients. We're not using oil. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any fat in this. Yeah. No oil, just uh, the natural oils from the vegetables. Yeah. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel. Also, hit that bell for post notifications so that you receive a notification next time we post a video. All right, this is kind of just like our version of Spanish rice. We have like a mix of different cooking styles. So what we're gonna do is just toast the rice. Yeah. The pot is on like medium heat and we're just gonna put the rice in here. Yeah. For this recipe we're using- You can put a little bit of oil on the bottom if you want, but you don't have to. Yeah. So we're not going to today. Oh, there's a little stone. <laughs> Sometimes that happens with rice. There'll be a little stone. Yeah, just take it out. Just take it out. That's normal. Lentils too. And yeah, if you get dry lentils or beans. So we're doing Four cups of rice, that was three. Yeah, because Ryan's gonna take this to work the next day too for lunch and stuff. Yeah, and so, yeah, you can use oil if you want, but you don't have to. Just constantly like stir it around on the bottom of the pot and let the rice get kind of browned. It's like you're toasting the rice. From one of the stores that has like Harry Potter stuff and it has gillyweed and what do you call it? Oh, the, her the herbology, the herbology. Get the water. All right, so you fill this up with water and then you pour it in. And you mix that around. So yeah, now you want to add in like all of your veggies and spices and whatever you want to add in. So this is zone packet. So this is going to give you like that yellow orangey type of Spanish rice looking. And I just like to mix that in first. Spinach. Okay, good. I'm just adding a bunch of spinach now. And don't worry, it's gonna reduce down yeah, a just lot. Add a bunch, yeah. This is all the lentils. And we just rinse them. Yeah, we rinse all the lentils. You add it and then you stir it up and close the lid, right? Yeah. Peas and carrots. That's a good thing too about eating plant-based and eating like high carb, low fat. Yeah, you right. can basically add as much as you I want. Like any excess carbohydrates you eat aren't gonna cause you in any way to gain fat or to get fat. All it's gonna do is help to fuel your body. And if you eat, I don't know what this is, I guess it was. Even now I'm noticing the spinach, obviously it reduced down so much. I'm gonna, there was only a little tiny bit left yeah. in the bag. I'm gonna add it. Definitely. Cause I love spinach. Why not? And yeah, why not? It's, if we don't use it, it's just gonna go bad in the fridge, so. 
And this is basically, I would say this is one of like the easiest like meals to prepare because you're just, you know, essentially dumping all of this, you're throwing it in the pot and then, you know, you just set it for the time that it takes to cook rice. Uh, this will simmer for 20 minutes. That's how long the Carolina rice cooks for. And in 20 minutes, you'll have an awesome meal. Yeah, it's so good. And it's easy cleanup. It's just a one pot meal. You know the what I mean? The good thing about so using this um, aluminum Spanish pot is like when it sits and simmers for the 20 minutes, you're not supposed to open the top at all. And like you're supposed to keep the top on the whole time so that none of the steam escapes. And um, like once it gets up to a simmer and it, and it cooks and then you close the lid, the outside like around the aluminum like kind of hardens and almost like burns like around the bottom of the pot and creates like a shell so that everything on the inside stays really nice and like fresh. So we got all our veggies in here and Max is just giving it one last stir. All right, we're gonna put the top on and wait for the simmer You can to also, happen. what you can do too is it has to simmer for 20 minutes. So you can put the lid on it and you'll, you know, you're stay in the kitchen, wait until you kind of hear it or crack it open. And once it's, once it's simmering, turn you know, it down once it's simmering, it turn it down and then it's going to go for 20 minutes. So we checked, we heard the pot and it's simmering. So what we'll do is we'll put this top on. And the most important thing about this is you have to once it's simmering you have to turn it down kind of turn it down once it's simmering you have to turn it down to like medium or so so that it continues to simmer but obviously doesn't overboil or anything and once you close the lid you cannot open it this is the trick for spanish rice is once you close the lid you can't open it for the entire 20 minutes you can't even open it to peek at it like you have to keep it completely closed so that none of the steam escapes at all that's why this pot is like the way that that's why this pot is the way that this is and it's like no holes in it. Like can you cooking without releasing any of the steam so that the rice doesn't get like a weird sticky like mess or whatever. Also so that it absorbs all the moisture. Yeah, so that it, so that it absorbs all the moisture. Look at it, he's digging. <laughs> Coco is Show watching the squirrel. The squirrel. Coco's watching the squirrel around. Oh. Ooh, the squirrel is moving. He has a thin tail. He must be young. Does that mean that they're young? I was cleaning up Yippie's cage, and when I went to go get him fresh food, I literally dropped a full bowl of food. And it's like a pretty big bowl, he's a parrot. So all the food dropped, and the food that dropped, I didn't want it to go to waste, so I swept it up, and I threw it outside. So maybe this squirrel's eating that, too. Yeah, thanks, Ryan, for making wild animals. Well, what's wrong? I shouldn't throw it out, it was brand I new know, food. okay, wild animals need to eat, too, I guess. Little wild animals need to eat, too. Doesn't he know this is your property? <laughs> Alright, this is about 20 minutes. So the specific way that you have to um, mix it, you have to kind of take the outsides of it and fold it in. So you take the outside and fold it in. It still needs a little bit more time to cook though, right? Okay. This way. Yeah, we might have added a little too much water, but that's fine. You're always better a little more water than, you know, not enough. Fold it in because this way it's like keeping it so that it doesn't get too sticky and like stick together. Like it keeps the rice fluffy by doing it this way. And what you can do even to it, even if there's a little moisture like this, it's this is fine to eat. See, that's eat. pretty dry yeah. here. Check this that's out. That's fine. Once it's mixed, it'll be fine to eat. It's just um. Always yeah. when you're making this, there's always that excess moisture on like the outside. Oh yeah, when side. you first open it, it's always a little bit of excess moisture, but um. The trick about folding it is it keeps it so that the rice stays fluffy and doesn't start sticking together. So what do you, do you want to serve it now? Or? Actually, I think it is done because all this okay. rice at the bottom is dry. So how are you going to have yours in a bowl or? Yeah, in a bowl is fine.
And you could spice it up if you want. I mean, it's already spiced well, but if you like it a Jobo, little hotter, right? you, could probably use a you, could, you could use a dobo. You could put hot sauce on it. Salsa. You know, you salsa. salsa. All right, guys. So this is how our Spanish rice turned out. It's a really easy vegan dinner idea. If you want to give it a shot, give it a try. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Good boy. Please, sir, may I have some more? <laughs> What's his response? What? You want more? <laughs> <laughs> if anybody knows the video reference to that, put it in the comments below. <laughs>